Hi everyone, uh, this is your art lesson for this week. We're going to carry on from our play from the last couple of weeks in art. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any clay, um, so we are going to do some sculpting out of foil um, with the pinch pot technique that we learnt uh, last week in art. So, things that you need for today's lesson, lesson aluminium foil and some sticky tape. And we're going to create a little frog creature here. And you can see his head is the pinch pot type. Uh, shape that we uh, did last week in art. So the first thing is we'll make the head and then we'll go for the other pieces. So a piece of a foil probably about that length, a bit longer than a 30 centimetre ruler. Okay, so if we remember the pinch pot was a ball with our thumb in the middle. So what, we, what we're going to do is we're sort of going to scrunch the foil, not too tight. Okay, around into a bowl shape and like the pinch pot, we're going to put our thumbs in, centre and pinch with our hands. The same sort of action that we did with the clay in the art room. Okay, tap again so we get the flat face. So these are all techniques that we did uh, using the clay. So that's sort of like a a little bit of a pinch pot. Okay, so there is our shape. Okay, and we can mold, we can stretch this depending on what sort of shape you might want for his mouth, the frog's mouth. Okay, so that's our first part. The next part will make his, his body. So you probably don't need as much this time. But this one, don't scrunch everything too tight, but because we want it sort of a full sort of shape. So again, just sort of that roundy sort of shape. So he's just going to sit on just to give the frog a little bit of height for his legs. Okay, so I'm just making all the different sections and then we'll put it together. So now I'm going to do his legs. Uh, it's got two legs, but that is just one piece of foil uh, there. So I'll show you that part now. So tear off another piece and perhaps put it long ways and fold. Okay, so sort of like a foldy sort of rolly motion like this. Okay, now. In the end, tuck the end down a little bit because we don't want it all gaping open. Now to get his fingers or his little toes, um, all I did was flatten the foil and then carefully tear the foil into three. Okay, so and then scrunch them to give them a little bit of shape. Okay. So do the other end because this whole piece is going to be his, his two legs. Okay, so tear. Just make sure that you're quite careful with that. And if you do tear anything off, that's okay. You can fold it under and tear again. So there's another toe shape. Okay, so what we want is the body part's going to sit in here. And the head's going to sit here like that. But we want his little legs to sort of curl up a bit like a frog. Okay, so we're going to bend that way. And bend up that way. Now, I need his toes to come down and around. So, around the front there like that. Okay, so you can see him coming into shape. All right, the last couple of bits, eyes and mouth. Um, tear, don't need a lot for eyes. So again, scrunch into a ball, depending on how big that you like them. Okay, so make them so they've got something, a bit of a flat bottom that they can sit on the head. And again, another piece. 
Okay, scrunch. And scrunch. Okay, so that's his two eyes. Now the last bit is his tongue here. So I'm just going to use this other little piece. So you're going to fold this one quite skinny. Or roll it quite skinny like this. Okay. Now to get a bit of a curl in his tongue, all you do is wrap around because it will shape. So you can unwrap to whatever you like there like that. So there are our pieces for our frog. So the next part, the easy part is assembling. So sticky tape, twirl your tape over so you can get sticky all around. So we're gonna place that there and then you're just going to place his body on. Okay, next piece. Okay, twirl the tape. I'm just going to put that on there rather than on that bit because I don't want to push his head too far down to collapse him. Like that. Now his tongue gets stuck in. So I'm going to tape first the tongue in there. And eyes up and around. Flat bottom there. So I'm just going to shape his head so they sit a bit better on there. One eye up and around. Last piece. On there like that. So that is our foil sculpture. You can do his tongue whichever way. I'm going to do it. Trying to catch a fly up in there. Um, that is our foil sculpture starting with a very similar little pinch pot like our clay. So I've made a little lily pad here for my frogs. So I hope you enjoyed doing this art lesson this week. It was a lot of fun.